we mentioned obviously your spell in the WWE and we saw you go back recently. Um, yeah. But there, there was a bit of, it seemed sort of confusion on the fan side because we saw you come in and announce the sign. You had the dark match and then the sort of vignette that went out on, or sorry, the, the sort of video interview that went out digitally. And then sort of shortly after that, you'd been released. Can yeah. you sort of provide clarity on fans as to what happened there in terms of what was the original, was there any plans for you when you were coming in? Was it like, oh, we're going to do this and this? And sort of what led to you being released or was it just a case of <laughs> it seems like they pulled the name out of the hat on the day sort of thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, their guess is as good as mine. But, uh, you know, uh, well, so I I gotten signed and then we were, I was doing the first, uh, first ever li- live like in front of an audience in uh, Texas for SmackDown. And I did a tag team match, it teamed up with Austin Theory. And then we did um, another one on the following uh, Monday on Raw. But they, they do things differently now. We, we did it in front of no fans, just the wrestlers, oh, which was okay. like kind of yeah. awkward, like you're doing your entrance. And, uh, you know, but we, Austin and I were just like, okay, you know, I wasn't sure if it was a test, but let's just, have a good match and that way nobody can say oh well the you know and then um wwe was supposed to do a release a um documentary on my father for the legend series i think they were supposed they were supposed to do one on lex luger too and we had done a whole bunch of filming and everything for that um uh and i don't know what happened you know the the following after um the dark match i i asked them i said do you know what i'll be coming back up i'm like you need it next week and the guy he's new um he's got mark carano's job now uh oh uh john john cone yeah he said the next time you'll be coming to to smackdown is when you're going to be debuting because you you did really good vince really liked it i said oh okay well so i'll just wait and then they asked me to do a dark match in uh because they were coming back to 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 Tampa like a like a few weeks later. And they were gonna do some uh backstage vignettes with me with uh because I got my my father's leather vest, uh, you know. Yeah. And they were gonna show that for the documentary. <clears throat> and I was gonna have another dark there. And uh <laughs> left be have it, I ended up getting COVID uh really bad. So yeah, that was not fun. So I was kind of out of commission for about three weeks or a month. And then uh, I was kind of forgotten about. And then I came to TVs one or two times and I'd been really like training hard. And uh, I mean, I was put investing a lot of money into all this meal planning and uh, I was waiting to, to come back. And then they called and they just said, um, you know, Johnny said he wasn't a fan of it. He just, um, you know, he said he wasn't, he wasn't happy with the list of names he was given, but it wasn't from him. So, I mean, someone, I don't know what they were waiting for, or the only thing that I was told was that I was going to be debuting on SmackDown and my, they were going to call me the Stampede Stud. That was the name. So, and I was like, okay. And uh, um, yeah, it just never happened.